Hello everyone and welcome to adoption of a pet dog or puppy, what you need to know. It's exhilarating to decide to acquire a new dog. Nevertheless, there are a plethora of options to weigh before making this selection. Your pet adoption can succeed or fail depending on how carefully you consider your selections and learn what it takes to take care of a wagging tail. To make sure you're ready, you should ask yourself a few questions before making this momentous decision. You should also consider whether your household and your house are prepared to accept a pet. Knowing how to detect if you're choosing the correct shelter or rescue organization to adopt from is equally crucial. Choosing the ideal puppy for your family and yourself needs careful consideration and research. It also requires you to set reasonable expectations for the amount of care and attention you can give your four-legged friend. For example, do you travel regularly or do you work from home? If you spend a lot of time at work, are you comfortable employing a dog walker? Can you devote enough time to taking care of a dog that has special needs? What about a breed with high energy that requires a lot of exercise? Is an elderly dog who enjoys spending a lot of time on the couch a better fit? I've made up a list of preliminary questions to get you started on the path to becoming a pet parent. Before you get a puppy or dog for a pet, consider the following information. Are you prepared to adopt a pet? Getting a dog or puppy requires a significant time, financial, and energy commitment, so before bringing a pet home, be sure you're ready. Do you have good intentions when adopting this dog? Getting a new dog is a decision that will change your life. If you decide it's going to be too much work or that it will cost more than you anticipated, you cannot simply back out. It is your responsibility as a dog parent to make sure your dog has everything they need. Veterinary care is included in this, of course. It will take time to get your dog vaccinated, and you might even need to take time from work to attend to the appointments. There are numerous locations where you can get affordable veterinary care if the cost of such is possibly too much for you. When it comes to training, patience is just as crucial. Additionally, you'll need to show grace under pressure and be prepared to keep training your dog after they unavoidably have a few mishaps. Are you already planning for the future? Taking care of your pet over the long haul is part of responsible pet ownership. As a result, you should think for a dog's future requirements, which could include paying for more healthcare, giving medication, or even getting steps or ramps so an arthritic puppy can reach their favorite area. Additionally, it entails ensuring that your dog may relocate with you to your new residence if you switch apartments. Having a plan in place ensures that your dog will have someone to care for them in the event that you become ill or are involved in an accident. Being a pet parent is not something that should be done hastily. What age dog is right for you? Adopting a puppy is not the same as adopting an adult dog, and senior dog adoption presents additional difficulties. A new set of specific needs arises with every developmental stage. Determining what age pet to consider for adoption may be made easier if you are aware of the stages of a dog companion's life. Adopting puppies. You may need to budget for the expense of vaccinations, spaying and neutering, obedience training, and socialization sessions when dealing with pups. You'll need to buy new toys, bedding, bowls, leashes, and other items. Puppies need a lot of play and stimulation, as well as frequent sleeps. You may have to clean up some accidents because they might not be toilet trained. You will need to dedicate yourself to a training regimen to lessen future occurrences of house soiling for the benefit of your flooring and your own mental health. A puppy may require medical attention that an adult dog does not, and their immune systems are not always fully formed. As a result, unless they have had certain vaccinations, you will need to hold off on taking them to dog parks. By doing this, they will be less exposed to illnesses and ailments for which they are still receiving treatment. Adopting Adult Dogs Adult dogs are often well vaccinated and have already had spaying or neutering at the shelter. They may have begun behavior training and are generally capable of following simple instructions. Moreover, Although housebroken in most cases, these puppies don't always stay that way. In order to improve the possibilities of adoption, reputable shelters and rescue organizations frequently work with the dogs under their care to teach them social and behavior management skills. Before bringing your dog home, you should inquire about this with your neighborhood shelter. 
Dogs who are older need mental stimulation and exercise. Being able to keep up with them is crucial. If you travel or are gone for an extended period of time, you might need to hire a pet sitter or a dog walker. Adoption of senior dogs. Older dogs are usually calmer. They might not require as much exercise as puppies or adult dogs, but they occasionally have health problems that need to be taken care of. Additionally, you'll need to be ready for end-of-life care. Nevertheless, older dogs are more likely to be accustomed to coexisting with people and are more likely to form strong attachments. They are popular among older dog owners who desire a devoted companion with a moderate energy level since they make excellent snuggle partners. Is your family ready for you to adopt a pet? You should have a lengthy conversation with your family before bringing a dog into your home. Ensure that all parties are in agreement and that their respective roles are understood. Who is going to be the main caregiver? Who will take care of the walking, washing, feeding, and other tasks? Dogs require consistency. As a result, setting up a routine in advance is essential to the adoption of your dog. Once your human family is on board, you also need to make sure that your other furry family members, if you have any, are ready. Make sure your dogs or cats can get along with other animals if you already have any. Find out how to safely acclimate a new puppy to your house cats. Recognize the behavior of your current dog or dogs when a new puppy joins their territory. Think about going to a dog park or inviting a friend's puppies over for a visit. Would your pets learn to share resources and attention with one another? When bringing a new puppy home, make sure you know how to create a good first impression so that everyone in the fur family can get off to a good start. Is your home ready for a dog's adoption? In any scenario, it's critical to identify the breeds that do well in households without consistent access to a safe, green yard. Is there anything to be concerned about in terms of wild creatures and predators if your dog has greater room to roam? How are you going to make sure your dog has a safe and secure yard? Are you ready to erect a safe fence? You have some additional choices to make regarding the preparation of your house. Where is the new dog going to sleep? Are certain pieces of furniture or rooms off limits? Who will pick up after your dog when he goes potty? Obtain items like as kennels, beds for dogs, bowls for food and water, collars and leashes, toys, spill cleaning agents, and possibly even baby or dog gates to keep out unwanted visitors. Because puppies often have accidents, you might want to set up a play area in a room with a hard surface floor so that it's easier to clean up after them. It might be beneficial for you to read up on dog proofing your house. What kind of dog or puppy should you adopt? When choosing which dog or puppy to adopt, there are a lot of factors to take into account. Consider your living area. Is it big enough for a large, active dog, or would a small, laid-back dog be a better fit? Do you have a large yard or a roomy area where you can run? Or is it necessary to take your dog for a leash walk outdoors each time they need a pee break? There are weight restrictions on some condos and flats for pets. Make sure that a dog's size won't be an issue down the road if you purchase one that isn't quite grown. In a similar vein, several locations restrict the breeds that its citizens may acquire. Make sure you've done your homework before getting your dog. Breeds differ in their energy levels, medical requirements, and innate capacity to adjust to socialization and training. Certain canines have a higher risk of developing medical issues that could cost more money. Some dogs are very active and need mental and physical stimulation to prevent harmful behavior. Maybe you should get a dog that enjoys going on long walks or that can surf waves with you. If you have parties frequently, you should look for a dog that can be educated to avoid jumping on strangers and is more socially adaptive. Additionally, you'll want a dog that doesn't hump visitors. Of course, you could always think about adopting a cute and cuddly dog. Because they tend to be more genetically diverse, they likely to have less health issues associated with inbreeding and inheritance. Many dogs who are mixed breeds inherit the best traits from both parents. This is called hybrid vigor. Which shelter or rescue group should you use for adopting a pet? Making sure you click with a dog in person is crucial when dealing with them. Nothing can tell you more about the kind of dog that's right for you than an in-person introduction. 
a shelter or rescue organization can help with that. Because they think the dogs at shelters and rescues aren't good dogs, some people avoid going near them. There is nothing that is more false than this. While many dogs are surrendered for behavior problems, the vast majority of those problems could have been prevented. Moreover, they can often be treated and addressed with training, attention, and exercise. Many dogs are surrendered because of a family's change in circumstances, a move, financial loss, illness, or blending of families, and not because of the dog. Some people don't realize how much time and work puppies, and even adult dogs, require and become fed up with the responsibility. A thorough evaluation of a shelter dog or puppy and acquainting them with each member of your household can help you select a good fit for your home. Shelters Adoptable animals and stray animals are kept in shelters. Most of the time, their city provides at least some funding for them, although some rely entirely on individual contributions. The location and amount of financing shelters get have a significant impact on their quality. Certain shelters offer training, spay-slash-neutering, and basic medical treatment. Others resemble holding pens more than shelters and don't provide the regular walks that experts feel are crucial to a dog's health. The population of available dogs usually changes quickly and regularly. At the best shelters, the staff take notes and sometimes post them on how the dog is doing. Some shelters do extensive tests to gauge a dog's personality and what sort of home would be the best fit. Many more shelters do not, and you're on your own. Some shelters allow people to put a hold on dogs they want to adopt. Before you lose your heart to a dog, make sure someone else doesn't already have a claim on them. Some shelters euthanize animals when they get overcrowded. Many no-kill shelters will only accept dogs believed to be adoptable, those who don't have aggression or health problems and are younger. If you're interested in a dog, make sure you ask how much longer they have at the shelter. That is, do you have a long time to make your decision, or is euthanasia scheduled in two days? Rescue Groups Rescue groups are groups that adopt dogs from shelters and house them in foster homes or occasionally in private kennels until adoptive homes can be located. Some accept all breeds of dogs, while others only accept certain breeds. Additionally, rescues are typically pickier about who gets to adopt the available puppies under their care. Generally, compared to many shelters, they tend to provide the dogs with greater medical and behavioral care. Dogs are happier in foster homes than in shelters, so it's easier to assess their personalities. You'll already know how they'll act in a real home setting. You can get a good idea of the dog's temperament and habits from the foster family, since they live with the dog. The dog is not likely to be euthanized, unless they display serious aggression or health issues. These groups often have adoption events at public places such as pet supply stores, so you can drop by and meet several dogs. If the time for adoption is right, do you believe you're prepared to adopt a dog as a pet now that you know more about the requirements? Recall that every dog is unique, both in terms of personality and needs. Whether this is your first dog or your fifth, using these questions is a great place to start when it comes to making sure your journey into dog parenthood is successful. You'll know you're ready to bring a new dog into your life when you brush up on how to provide the finest life possible for your pet. That's the adoption of a pet dog or puppy, what you need to know. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the bell for future notifications. And if you want to become a member then hit that join button to get some awesome emotes, perks, and much more coming soon. See you guys next time.